Hi, welcome to another beautiful episode of Kitchen Revelations. Amid this global pandemic where people are working from home or working remotely, which has become the new normal, are resorting to or trying out traditional and lip smacking dishes made by our grandmoms. Today, Kitchen Revelations has also come up with a traditional delicacy from God's own country, Kerala. So today we are going to learn to make fish fry in banana leaf or mean polichida in Malayalam. Mean means fish and polichida means burnt or fried in Malayalam. This dish is found in most of the fine restaurants and also house ports of backwaters in Kerala. Most commonly used fish for this recipe is curry mean or pearl spot fish. Instead you can also use whole pomfret fish which I have used in today's recipe. So without wasting much time let's quickly get on to the recipe. So this is silver pomfret fish. I have cleaned and cut this fish and also given slits. The slits will help in marinating the fish properly. Now for marination into a bowl I am going to add 1 teaspoon of salt. Next I am going to add half teaspoon turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon red chilli powder 3 4 teaspoon black pepper powder Juice of 1 whole lemon Add half a teaspoon of coconut oil Now mix this really well to form a smooth paste Now coat your fish generously with this paste. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon next to it for regular updates. Also do share this recipe if you liked it with your friends and family. So we have finished marinating one side, similarly marinate the other side of the fish. Once you finish marinating, allow the fish to rest for at least 1 hour. Meanwhile, let's prepare for the second marination. Into a mixer grinder jar, add one whole green chilli. Add few garlic cloves. Add a small piece of ginger roughly chopped. Add 1 4 teaspoon black pepper powder. 1 tablespoon red chilli powder. A sprig of fresh curry leaves. 1 tablespoon of coconut oil I have also cleaned and kept some shallots here which I am not adding into the mixer grinder but will be later using it for the marination So let's grind this into a fine paste Meanwhile I am toasting some banana leaves on gas flame here This will ensure that the leaves don't tear while frying fish Next heat a pan, keep the flame on medium and add some oil for shallow frying the fish Next add some fresh curry leaves and place the fish on top for frying Put some curry leaves on top and fry the fish on one side for about 5 to 6 minutes So it's been almost 5 minutes now I'm going to turn the fish on to the other side and fry it again for 5 minutes So I finished frying the fish and kept it aside. Let's continue with the second marination. Into that same oil I am going to add the cleaned shallots which I have sliced. Sort till they turn golden. You can also use onions instead of shallots but shallots will give a nice flavor to this recipe. Next I am going to add the paste which was prepared earlier. Sort till the raw smell of the spices go away. Next add 1 medium sized finely chopped tomato. Sort the tomatoes till they turn mushy. So I have covered and cooked this marination for about 1 minute. Add little salt and mix well. I have added very less salt because we have already added salt to the fish while marinating it. 
so our second marination is almost ready so now we'll take these toasted banana leaves so I'm going to place one more leaf on top of the first one this is done to ensure that it doesn't break while frying now we'll put the second marination which was prepared on top of this leaf now on top of this marination we'll place the roasted fish then we'll top the fish with the remaining marination so we have finished coating the fish with the second marination now for decoration you can keep tomato slices onion rings chilies curry leaves whatever you feel like adding in so now we'll wrap and cover this fish fully using these banana leaves Now to tie this parcel I'm using a thread which I've extracted from the banana leaf itself. You can also use the normal ones or any type of thread whichever is available to tie this parcel. So a parcel is ready to be fried. Heat a pan and add some oil. Now place the parcel into this oil. and fry until the banana leaf turns golden in color please ensure that the flame should be between low to medium else what will happen is the banana leaf will burn quickly and the second marination will not be absorbed by the fish properly so this took me about 4 to 5 minutes now slowly turn and cook the other side as well one more tip if you do not wish to serve this immediately you can serve it warm by steaming it when your guests arrive So our piping hot tasty and juicy fish fry in banana leaf is ready to be served. So we'll cut the thread which was tied earlier. So you can see for yourself that the second marination has really coated the fish very well. You can see that the flesh is really soft and melt in mouth. Do try this recipe and share your feedback in the comment section below. Also do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching Kitchen Revelations.